What's up guys, hey Mac One here. Coming at you with another video tonight on a Friday night. I'm enjoying my favorite drink, the Manhattan. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm trying to keep it down a little bit. My son just went to bed, so I do not want to have to go in there and put him down again. So I'll try and talk as long as I can without also waking him up. Uh, tonight, I wanted to quickly cover something that you know, by the way, you guys are, always know, and I'm sure you can tell, I always shoot these off the cuff. I'm never rehearsing anything, never write private notes, just kind of go here. Whenever I have something of value to share, I just want to get it out there and hope to help you guys. So the big thing I want to talk about tonight is for people that are starting bulk, looking to start bulk, thinking about starting bulk, whatever it is, contemplating it, this is for everyone there. There's a lot of pitfalls to doing bulk books. One of the main things I want to talk about is uh, cash flow in regards to book burn. And that that uh, that terminology I never actually had heard prior until, um, shout out to David Chung, talked to me about it. He is, if you haven't looked him up, he's probably, I would say the number one guy out there right now for this that you should look to be talking to. Um, I think you can find him on Dave Dave Reads, if I'm correct. I hope I say that. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not sure, but he's been doing this for, I think, something like 12 years. So he knows what he's talking about. So, anyways, we've had conversations in length about uh, book burn. It's basically what it means is the amount of money you're spending on your hard costs of books every month. So, I want to talk about that because it's really important. So, let's say hypothetically, and you should do this before you start bulk, and even if you are doing bulk, you should do this now. It's all about the numbers, you guys. So take your current cash flow that you're making right now on Amazon, look at your two week payouts, multiply by two, obviously, look at the whole month. You wanna see what your total month payouts are. Let's say someone who's starting right now, their total cash flow is $2,000. So they're getting a payout of $1,000 every two weeks. They've probably been cherry picking. They want to make the switch over to bulk. So let's go with that right now. So let's say you have $2,000 in cash flow. You want to move into a warehouse. Let's say, let's say the warehouse is $2,000 a month. So you've actually just immediately eliminated your cash flow, right? You've canceled it out. I've always advocated, by the way, do not start bulk, do not go into a warehouse until you're cash flowing enough to pay for those expenses. So getting back to this, let's say that you want, your goal is to get out, let's say four pallets a month, okay? And this is, these are all hypothetical, just bear with me. Everyone's numbers are different, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Use your own numbers, plug them in. It'll be helpful, I promise. So let's say that this person wants to do um, four pallets a month, okay? So let's say on average it takes somebody 15 pallets or 15 Gaylords to make a pallet of greens, okay? So that would be 60 pallets. And let's just say for simplicity's sake, they're getting them for $50 a piece, okay? So that is $3,000 if I'm not correct. So this is gonna be the book burn, okay? This is their burn, this is what they're sticking to, this is what they're feeding, um, this is their hard cost every month, okay? $3,000 in books that they're committing to spend. So as you can probably tell, since their cash flow is already gone from their warehouse, and yes, there's utilities and everything, but it's not getting that picky here. They're going to be going into the red $3,000 initially, right off the bat, okay? Let's just say they move into a warehouse, $3,000 a month they're going to commit to spending. Yes, there's trucking fees. Again, let's not go there. A lot of you can figure out how to get free delivery with Gaylords. Um, in a semi, you can figure out other ways to do it, okay? So let's just say it's 3000 So let's say you, you, you've you created your first pallet, okay? And you're using, say, Acceler List. Let's say the net profit, net profit on the pallet, is, and this is real numbers, by the way. I just submitted a pallet. My my net profit on it was six thousand dollars. So six thousand dollars, and then you've got the rank, of course, 
like this is that main screen you see right rank and then you got like weight so this is like an accelerless view what you need to do is take the average sell-through rate on a 30-day basis which is 20 percent so multiply your net profit multiplied by 0.2 you'll get uh 1200 dollars okay so this this is after once this pallet hits after 30 days you should expect from this pallet to make 1200 dollars back okay so this business is all about front loading and it's also a snowball you have to think of it as a snowball so if you if you move in on day one okay you move in on day one you blow thirty thousand or three thousand dollars it will not be until they most likely let's say it takes 10 days for the pallet to hit on day 40 because right it's 10 days the pallet hits okay 30 days from then you're going to get the 1200 back okay so you start 3000 it's not going to be until 40 days later most likely okay that you're going to get the 1200 back so what does that do that means that your your cash flow is depleted from your warehouse right it's gone so you've already spent it that means that this 1200 is coming back into the 3000 okay so at the end of you know the 40 day value you're going to get the 3000 back so you're actually going to be in the red i want to and i want to make sure you guys all follow me on this you're going to be in the red i'm going to explain this you're going to lose $1,800 right off the bat uh, after that 30 day. You're still going to be down $1,800. So this is going to be a consistent thing when you're starting. You're going to consistently lose money. And this number, it's not going to go up. Okay. It's going to go down, but it's going to go down slow. So what you need to figure out and this is everything, is you need to figure out, get this written off here, hold on. You need to ask yourself this question. At what point does my cash flow break even with my cogs slash burn, you know, plus let's say the warehouse, which is the big expense. Obviously there's other little things you can throw in with the warehouse utility. I already mentioned that, okay, trucking, I get it, okay? But that's what you need to figure out. Where do they intersect, right? So you need to figure out in terms of months, how many months is it going to take me to continue to feed this to where I am not? So, so this here, you need to figure out how many months it's going to take you to cash flow five thousand a month. Does that? I hope that makes sense to you. It's very elementary. Maybe I didn't explain it the best way possible, but this is what you need to find out. So, when are you going to hit that on the graph? You need to rush to that as quick as you can, and you need to stop the bleeding. Once you hit that spot and you figure that out from there, keep on going because it's going to get easier. The numbers are going to look better. What you really should be doing, and if this is easier, obviously, if you have some type of capital to start, but you guys need to realize you're going to be going to the red. You need to have capital. You need to be financially ready for this. Do not load up credit cards. Don't do that. It's not smart when you're doing this type of model, okay? So I hope this helps you guys. Um, you really can, and another takeaway is you really need to just re reverse engineer the whole thing. So, you know, you can start with how much do I want to make, you know, year one. And you, please be realistic. You're not going to make a hundred grand your first year, you guys. You're not because you need to 
you're going to have overhead expenses, startup costs, all that. It's just not going to happen unless you have some crazy, you know, streak of luck. Who knows, who knows what it is? But you're just not going to do it. Trust me. You're going to, you want to shoot for probably what I would recommend year one is that you don't actually, I wouldn't strive actually for hitting a certain profit in your bank. I would say strive for a, a sales number and then really try and keep your cost as, as nimble as you can to start because year one is all gonna be getting that snowball rolling down the hill. That's all it is. Get the snowball down, building up your inventory, making sure you have your processes down, your software, everything. Year one, if you guys want a good um, you know, example, so I, I only spent half a year doing bulk my first year, and we ended at, I think it was 180,000 in sales. Um, and I wanna illustrate this, because it's, it's gonna be really eye-opening. So year one, uh, first year, we did 180,000. And you're like, oh, well, that's not really good. Well, actually, it is pretty damn good. Let me explain why. Because the first month, and all of you know this who have been following me, I did $982 in sales. Second month, it grew. Second month grew. Second month grew. When you start to get your groove and you really start to feed this and you start bulk, it just stacks exponentially. So we're already at the point where now, you know, uh, if we look at this year so far, I'm already, we're already at, we've already surpassed this just in the first uh, four months. We've already passed it. So we're pacing to do about a half a million. And uh, it's been a crazy ride. Bulk is great. You just have to know. You have to know everything. You have to know your numbers. You have to be crazy about, you know, where's the sweet spot? Where am I going to hit? This is the question, write this down or one more time. At what point does my cash flow break even with my cost slash burn and your other expenses like the warehouse? That's what you have to fight and grind to get to. Don't think about hiring anybody. Don't think about anything else. That is all it's gonna take. The beauty of this, the beauty of this is if you want it, you can do anything you want with this number. You can go down, you can go up. The more you go up, the more risk there is, obviously, depending on how much money you have in your bank account. You can play it safe and you can spend a thousand a month and and be and not do a warehouse, okay? Not do a warehouse, have the two thousand dollars in cash flow, only spend a thousand a month getting them into your garage, and you're already hitting your stride. But it's gonna take you a lot longer that way. I'm just saying. Anyways, I hope you guys find that uh valuable i did want to give a couple shout outs one is jacob i see you solis down in san antonio uh zach and uh also cody up in dallas all three of you guys they were um they've been uh consulting with me two of them have warehouses already um i need to speak with jacob it's been a little bit just see just asked to see if we can connect but I, did, I do have an update on Zach and Cody. They both are in warehouses. Cody actually has his own custom build on his property, which is pretty sick. It saves him a ton of money. But um, I know that Cody has worked a lot with lately with me on kind of the whole cash flow aspect. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of issues with that with Shoot, I'm bringing through cash fast. What do I need to fix? What's what's different? What's wrong? Some of it's this. A lot of it's also renegotiation of prices with your suppliers. Um, there was something where, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this, but uh, there's he was hiring full time labor. That's pretty much an issue when you're starting. If you're burning, you know. I'm not sure what he was paying them, but if you're paying, you know, 2,400 a month in labor for one person, that's at 15 bucks an hour. That's a lot of cash. That's a lot of pallets that you could be using for yourself. That's money 
that could be going to any kind of rent, anything else. So again, hope that helps for you guys. Oh, one big thing, one big thing, hold on. I got something special for you guys. So obviously I haven't been consistent with videos, but I got something good for you. So go here, okay? You should already know this because it's the name of my YouTube channel. I got a new website, okay? So everything on here is related to books most of the time. Uh, I've already thrown up a bunch of good blog posts. I'll probably put this, what I just was talking about, on there too. There's already several on there. Go here, check it out. Um, anyone who's interested in consulting, I have a link there. I have free resources for you guys. I have like a wealth tracker resource. I have um, all kinds of different things. Just go there. It's something I'm super passionate about and I'm just going to keep adding a bunch of free content to it. And then also, if you aren't already, email me. Um, just email me at Hayden Aquilon and then it's at gmail. Uh, oops, gmail.com. Just first and last name at gmail.com. Just email me and just ask to be added to my regular emails. I do send a lot of good emails out to a very small list I have. And anytime I've learned something or I found something of value, I'm just shooting out a quick email, just a valuable email to people. I'm not spamming anybody. And last but not least, I swear this is the last thing. I want your feedback on this. Um, I'm working on a, uh, I'm working on an app right now with a buddy of mine. He's also one of the consultants now that I'm working with. Um, what it does, and I wanna know the honest truth, so please leave it in the comments below. So you're always checking your phone, right? And you're looking at your sales all the time on Amazon. You see your sales and you go, that's cool. I've sold 500 bucks today. I sold 300 bucks, whatever it is. How often are you like, well, what if, what if that is profit? Well, what if you knew what it, what was profit? You didn't have to enter anything else in manually. How cool would that be? I wanna know if you guys think that's a good idea. I already figured it out how to do it. Um, I'm, we're in talks to figure it out right now. So I wanna know what you guys think. I wanna know if that's something that you would pay for. How much would you pay for? We were thinking of charging like 19 bucks a month, which is nothing, that's cheap. So I think that'd be extremely valuable to know how much profit you're actually making to the penny on a day-to-day -day basis with all your sales. Um, we're gonna have all these different functions of it, but the, the base of it is that you're gonna be able to open the app, right? And it just like your Amazon Seller Central app, it's gonna show you your net profit, you know, just as it shows your sales graph. It'll show you your sales too, but you'll also see the net profit. And it'll give you the update of the day prior, right? Because it has to, you can't, it's not gonna be a real time thing, but from the previous day, it can take all that info and show you what you made yesterday net profit, which is awesome. And also give you your month over month, everything will be in there. So tell me if it's stupid. I wanna hear it. Tell me if that's awesome and you'll pay for it now because I will take pre orders. And that I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. We're also, we're also going to do. Um, a free trial in the beginning is probably going to be 30 days. So, um, really looking forward to that. I've thought about that a lot, and everyone I've talked to says it's a great idea. Uh, people also are ready to buy it. So, if you want it, let me know. Let me know what you think. Tell me, tell me what a good price point would be, also, too. That'd be valuable for me to know that. So, anyways, like if you like, guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and leave me comments. I want the feedback. I want to know what you think about the app. Also, if you have questions about, you know, everything we're talking about, just let me know. All right. Have a good night. Bye.